Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. It's 6.30 p.m. Eastern time on this Sunday, the 16th of July. And we've got a couple of local radars. The back edge is making progress eastward. And uh, you're here looking at the uh, radar from uh, Fort Dix, New Jersey, from Mount Holly's radar. And you can see that back edge is creeping eastward. Uh, in the meantime, there's have bands of heavy rain that are moving from the ocean over Long Island, particularly eastern Long Island. So that's going to continue for a little while longer. The system is very, very slow uh, to uh, get out of the way. We'll take a look at the OKX radar uh, out of Upton in central Long Island, and you can see the perspective from here. Notice the big rains now moving into southeastern New England. And they're getting pounded uh, flash flooding, flash flood warnings up for much of southeastern New England, including Boston, all of Rhode Island and eastern Connecticut. So the slow shift eastward means that the bands of heavy rain are shifting eastward as well and northeastward. And there are some heavy thunderstorms embedded in all of this, <clears throat> although we're not seeing uh, much in the way of severe thunderstorm warnings. Uh, at least <clears throat> for now. And I tend to think that maybe that part of the equation has run its course. Here's the look on the wider view, and you see the three, actually f there were four, now they're just three flash flood warnings up uh, in southeastern New England. So uh, a few more hours left uh, before this is all out of here. It's going to take a little longer in southeastern New, to New England um, to move out. It's pretty much done in New Jersey. It's definitely done in Pennsylvania. There's a couple of stray showers, even a couple of stray thunderstorms up the Hudson Valley around Albany, but they should go away uh, before too long. And then things, I think, improve for tonight and Monday. Meanwhile, tonight we do have scattered showers and thunderstorms, special marine warnings off the Georgia coast and also off the east coast and west coast of Florida. Uh, we're also seeing uh, some areas of showers and thunderstorms and severe weather. Uh, severe thunderstorm mornings uh, up as of 6.30 p.m. Eastern time uh, in uh, parts of northeastern uh, Louisiana as that area uh, moves slowly to the east. Some other storms in the northern Great Lakes uh, in northeastern Wisconsin and into the upper peninsula of Michigan. Otherwise, it is dry in the west. The latest surface map showing this frontal boundary is still lying to our west. It's not uh, made much eastward progress, made maybe a little bit of eastward progress, but it, it's going to gradually shift eastward. The problem is, if you look on the surface map, there are other weather fronts upstream. Uh, there's one back through Michigan into southern Illinois and southern Iowa. There's another one that's a little stronger uh, that's uh, moving into western Wisconsin and swinging through the Plain states. So guess what? They're all coming eastward. And uh, also, by the way, if you notice on the satellite loop, that milky white area, that's not cloud cover, that's smoke. So that's back into the equation again. And we may see some of this move into the mid-Atlantic and northeast and even the southeast because we see that smoke down into uh, Tennessee and even into North Georgia. So this smoky area is going to be shifting eastward. Uh, the yellow, red, and green flashes, those are all the lightning strikes that are occurring at this time. And you see there's lightning strikes uh, off the New Jersey coast. And also you see that skies are clear, have cleared out in much of central and western Pennsylvania and most of western New York. So we seem to be going in the right direction here. Now, the next two days, uh, we'll take a look at the Storm Prediction Center. Now, this is for tomorrow, Monday, into two, Monday night, Tuesday morning. And we see small areas of marginal risk. Western PA down into northern West Virginia, eastern Ohio, another area in western Kentucky and uh, western west central Tennessee. But uh, in the northeast and mid-Atlantic states, down through the coast and extending down through uh, interior uh, North Carolina and South Carolina and Georgia, no thunderstorms are forecast for tomorrow. So we do catch a break from all of this. However... On Tuesday, we're back in the area of general thunderstorms. I don't know. We may even eventually wind up with a marginal risk showing up uh, over the next two days when they update this forecast uh, tomorrow morning. Rainfall going forward. Now, it's a little tough to figure here in New England because of the fact that we have this. This is actually from 8 o'clock tonight on. So there might be a little bit of leftover stuff uh, as part of this. Uh, but most areas, another half to three quarters of an inch. And I would use the doubling rule that I've talked about the last few days. 
uh, in these con instances where you're dealing with systems where there's a lot of convection, that uh, the amounts could wind up being double. And considering the rainfall amounts today in many areas, uh, getting five, six, seven inches of rain uh, on uh, some areas uh, have picked up well over a foot of rain since uh, in the last seven days. It's not going to take that much rainfall to set off another round of flash flooding when we get into Tuesday. So don't be shocked if we still see flood watches or we see flood watches taken down and then going back up again in some places come Tuesday. So here's the problem longer term. If we look at the upper air from starting from late last week and going into this week, you see this upper low that's over the Great Lakes tonight, this broad west-southwest flow that's along the eastern seaboard that does not allow the fronts to move offshore. They kind of get stuck. Uh, we have to wait for that trough to clear, and it, and it doesn't really do that until Wednesday. So we may get another front here on Tuesday with some showers and storms. Wednesday could be a break day, but guess what? Here comes another front and strong short wave uh, that could produce some uh, showers and maybe some strong thunderstorms later Thursday or Thursday night. And that trough is going to strengthen along the East Coast as we head into next weekend. So there'll probably be some systems embedded in that that we're going to have to watch closely uh, with regards to maybe getting hit with another round of uh, heavier downpours and storms. Uh, at some at some point in the next seven days. So here's our uh, GFS for tonight. You see it uh, by 2 a.m. It's just about done except for except for the Cape. Uh, and then it's out Monday, a break day, very warm, very humid, uh, 80s to maybe some warm spots near 90. Tuesday, this next front approaches shower thunderstorm, I think is possible. I think the GFS is probably underdoing this to some degree. We get a break on Wednesday. And then come later Thursday into Thursday night with that, uh, yet another cold front, uh, we could see more numerous showers and thunderstorms with that. And then we'll watch to see what happens next weekend. The GFS is reasonably optimistic. The European, not so much. So we will be dealing with all of this as the, the next cha for, forecast challenges arise in the coming days. Uh, we did the Joe and Joe weather show without Joe Rayo this morning at uh, 1045 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, but we will be back tomorrow night at 735 p.m. Eastern time. So be sure to tune in with all these chances for more uh, severe weather and flash flooding and all the rest of it. Uh, it might be a good idea to tune in the Joe and Joe weather show tomorrow night at 735 p.m. Have a great Sunday evening.